Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Actually, we are supposed to do toner series, but since my dear subscribers asked me to talk about exfoliation, here I am with that video today. I remember speaking about exfoliation on our channel maybe in August 2018, but post which I should have done some videos. Sorry, I did not. So today's video is solely my opinion and what I've learned about it. Um, please keep in mind that I am not very conscious about like beautifying me and myself or my skin. So I do not much exfoliate first of all. If you are really beauty conscious, then you can exfoliate. I I think I've in, in recent times I never remember exfoliating my skin. Ha, huh. okay. Coming to exfoliation. Now you must be knowing that exfoliation, I'm talking about chemical, I'm not talking about physical exfoliation at all. I'm against physical exfoliation and I have done a lot of videos already in our channel. Um, regarding how physical exfoliation like with walnuts, with suji, with green tea, how that will eventually actually age you much faster and how bad it is for the skin barriers. Before we get into the benefits and how to do and all, let me warn you that over exfoliation is something that will give you a compromised skin barrier. That is a problem. If you get that problem, it cannot be rectified that easily. So I request you not to kindly over exfoliate your skin there is some optimum way that you can do it which i'll let you know in the uh, upcoming minutes okay so exfoliation is something that dissolves the glycoproteins and the sticky substances that are present on the outer uh, layer of the skin that is stratum corneum logically stratum corneum is something which is 15 to 20 layers it's that thick or said that thin it just is like a a4 size thickness uh, sheet but in that it has those many layers and uh, by exfoliating your skin would never say that acha acha nikal to bhai that five layers i don't need i'm happy with 10 layers it's never like that any given day your skin needs all those 15 to 20 layers depending on person to person how many layers you have and stratum corneum is the most uh, effective and say efficient defensive system that our facial skin especially has so before you exfoliate keep all these things in mind and exfoliation you when you do it with chemicals like um, glycolic acid and lactic acid you definitely target a lot of pigments and if you have a lot of pigmentation problem if you have acne scars then go for chemical exfoliation peels in uh, under the supervision of a doctor that is absolutely okay you can consult them and then use it and uh, I'm not, I'm not completely against exfoliation as I've said, but uh, if you have such clinical problems, then you can go for chemical exfoliation. Desquamation, that process is called desquamation, which means the shedding of the outer layers of the flopping of the outer cells of the dead cells of the stratum corneum. Already your body does it for you. Unless you're 40 above, don't exfoliate weekly ones. I mean, you get my point, right? If you're 40 above, then do a serious exfoliation weekly ones with clinical strength things like um, the ordinary and uh, like those things you know that, that you get in the market like uh, serious strength peels like about 20 percent maybe weekly ones if you are someone who's below 40 not more than once in 10 days or once in 50 if you're below 30 then once in 15 days is what i would recommend that is clinical strength okay Apart from that, if you uh, are a person who gets tanned frequently and all, for those people, uh, if you're lazy like me to keep up, uh, to use face packs like, you know, using curd and all, that's okay. Then what you can do is have a toner or a face wash which has AHA, BHA in them and you can start using them maybe weekly once or twice, not more than that. Don't use it like every day. I do not recommend that at least. And... Um, all of that can be done and also one thing i want to tell you is once you exfoliate your skin prepare it like you know because you are pulling the baby baby skin out prematurely it is your job to provide it the protection that is needed so once you exfoliate it is important that you protect that skin from sun's rays that means use a sunscreen from pollution that means use anything antioxidant um, like vitamin c vitamin b3 e uh, picogenol resveratrol ferulic acid absolutely your choice okay and it is your job to keep it moisturized so use a moisturizer all of these things are must if you're doing o exfoliation or say exfoliation and my favorite way of exfoliation is by using 
home remedies that is something that is available at home i'll tell you my four favorite ingredients and four ways to that you can incorporate in your face masks and you can use them as exfoliation so the first one is of course i'm telling you um, the availability wise first one is curd second is jaggery jaggery is uh, something which has glycolic acid in higher concentrations so it's excellent to apply on the skin uh, you can apply it with anything that mixes with jaggery and just use like a face pack maybe weekly ones excellent and the second uh, category are fruits fruits contain uh, papaya is the best second is uh, you know papain it has and bromelain from uh, pineapple and malic acid from uh, this one uh, apple also there is another i think there's another mandelic acid or something from strawberries also you can use these sort of fruit acids to exfoliate pumpkin etc if you have they are the best way and excellent way they will not disrupt your uh, barrier at all also once you exfoliate you are creating that acid mantle um, balance in the skin so it is important that you immediately give some vitamin c or some peptides etc for the skin to repair well and dry skin people if you exfoliate you hint the moisturizing factors in the dermis to come to the surface and you will have a very plumpish uh, i mean plumpalicious skin um, so for dry skin people also you can exfoliate for sure you can exfoliate that will give more visible results and beautiful results compared to oily skin people um, and uh, using curd and all you can actually do it weekly twice also because that does a very mild exfoliation anything you can any acids that you know which are mild in fruits and all you can definitely apply them on face um, other than that i do not prefer doing it if you are doing a clinical strength one it is important that you eat more vitamin c the collagen uh, in food and also the hyaluronic acid because that is what builds the skin on the whole those are the connective tissues so that is very important again so yeah this is my take on exfoliation any questions you have you can let me know in the comments and i would love to answer them thank you